Hello then, welcome back into Blood Bowl 3 Season Finals. Now, we said, folks, that we had a surprise for you, and we are indeed joined right now by VTOC from Nacon. This is, this is amazing. Thank you for being here, first and foremost. But we just say, what an amazing couple of weekends. How great is it to be here as well in this studio, enjoying all of this with us? No, it is uh, definitely, and uh, while seeing all this energy being put uh, uh, among this, uh, this, uh, this game of Blood Bowl, so definitely we have seen as well uh, really involved players through the tournaments, through the playing, through the season finals now as well. Great game, so yeah, it's, I'm enjoying it as well. I'm glad we're all enjoying it. We're loving this as well. Now, I'm sure a lot, of, uh, a lot of the fans at home here, the community, are wondering about the roadmap for the future of uh, Blood Bowl. So what, what can you share with us today? What, what, what's coming our way? Yeah, basically, we, we wanted to, you know, to wait for the season finals to be done and then coming next week with some announcement for the 2024 roadmap, which we figured out well. We are now on the live, and maybe it's a, it's a good time to give some preview info uh, on that, uh, basically. So, yeah, to, to, to do some announcement about that, the idea for us is that uh, we will do this kind of event once a year uh, in a format that uh, it will be an annual world championship uh, that, will, uh, that will get this, uh, this kind of level of production we want to do uh, uh, on, on Blood Bowl, and, uh, and there will be different ways to qualify for the players on that. Uh, one will be the official ladder, of course, that you already know. Uh, and it's uh, this season, from this season, for this season three as well, uh, it will be like proper playoff coming back as well. Uh, like you, uh, you know, uh, the CCL uh, administrators from Blood Bowl 2, well, they are taking over now for a seasonal playoff on Blood Bowl 3. So from this season starts on, it will be able to, to uh, you will be able to qualify to those uh, world championships through that. But that's not the only way, uh, because as we did with NAF tournaments uh, this season, we want to, uh, how to say, like, put together all the community competitions that are out there. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of uh, leagues and uh, community competition that exist on Blood Bowl, and uh, we want to give them tickets for this World Championship as well, so we can have people coming from different uh, backgrounds, different countries, different ways, like we had in this tournament, for example, Coltrup, that came from this NAF kickoff tournament and he made it all the way to the third place. And that's a nice story, I believe. <laughs> so we really want to, to continue doing that and to, to be able to give this world championship once a year uh, uh, to, to the community. No, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, I mean, competitive side of things as well. What can you share? Anything else you can share with us from the competitive standpoint too? Yeah, that, that, that's basically the, the idea. Like we want to, to give this whole circuit, like 2024 circuit mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the competitive side. So that's basically what, uh, what, we will, uh, what we will be doing for the competitive scene. It's really uh, bringing everything together and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, giving a chance to all the administrators that are out there in the community involved every day uh, uh, on their game. Like in the, in the post, you will see uh, next week, uh, actually, there will be an email address where we ask like, the, uh, the, the league administrator, if you are like, running a big community or something, you can send us an email to like, apply, let's say, to be part of this official circuit so your competition can grant uh, tickets to the World Championship. So that's the idea for us for competition in 2024. Love that, love that. That's good. It's great to hear. I'm sure the community are going wild for this right now. I mean, is there anything you want to share as well before we lose you? Obviously, we have ourselves a grand final to jump back into. Anything you want to share with the community at home here who have enjoyed every single second of this this weekend thus far? Well, I think I want to thank you guys first because uh, thanks for being here. Uh, I have read a lot of positive messages in the chat, in the Discord and so on, and it just gives strength actually to continue doing such kind of events. It gives a lot of strength as well to the studio, to Cyanide, to continue working uh, uh, on the game. So yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice journey. We have a lot of plans for Blue Ball 3, and it's a journey we will uh, take all together. That, well, thank you so much. And thank you for putting also all together for us uh, you know, hit Nacon as well, because we've, I think we can all agree, we've absolutely relished every single second this, haven't we? So uh, Andy uh, and, and Jimmy, I mean, thank you, VTOC. What a, what a great roadmap looking for the next 12 months. This looks awesome. Absolutely. It's been fantastic. Uh, and what a piece of news as well. You're talking about bringing in private leagues and ladder, and then yeah, the, the, the final creme de la creme is we're going to do this again next year. What about that? Jimmy, what do you think? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. World Championship, community leagues, it, it's it's phenomenal. A competitive circuit. It's it's everything we could want, right, from Blood Bowl. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Uh, 
And thank you very much indeed to Nacon for putting this on. We, we've sort of kept quiet on the thank yous because we, we suspected we were going to get a chance to talk to them on camera. Uh, chat, yeah, if, if you want to say anything to Nacon, they'll be reading it right now. So if you've got anything to add, please pile it in. But thank you very much indeed. Adam, wonderful. Wonderful stuff. And Vitor, he smelt fantastic. What a fantastic smelling human. Uh, but I, I think I think I completely agree. Um, so lovely having a chance to, to chat to Vitor. And um, good to see you. I mean, we said it from the get-go here on the broadcast. So having all this here and, and the studio and being together and bringing you yeah. guys the action as well. Um, we've loved every second of this. And if, it's been amazing. It's been absolutely incredible. I mean, from because from, you think about the production as a whole, like the production team, every single second of this has been wonderful for us. And hopefully for you guys at home as well, uh, you've enjoyed the magic along with us. I think you have done thus far. Um, speaking of magic, lads, we have ourselves a grand final. We are right slap bang in the middle of it. Um, we are 1-0 uh, to Strider right now, but uh, still all to play for in this best of three in this grand finals here. Uh, but does Diomed do this? I mean, Andy, do, do, what, 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 what happens now? What's happening in that, in that kind of short 30 minute window? Um, what's Diomed done, do you think, to digest what you know, happened in game one and how does he kind of look forward to game two? I think he's got to go and think about his offense. If he can get a shallow kick, I think he stands a, a, a decent chance of converting and then pushing the Lizards. He's demonstrated that he's been able to stop the Lizards a couple of times. He just needs to convert his offense. And that's what I'm doing. If I'm Diomed, how do I convert my offense? We've been talking about off camera. I'm not sure how you do it, but he's got to go <laughs> and work it out. Right, I'm not in the grand final. I haven't got to solve this problem. Yeah. And I mean, Jimmy, you've, you've said from the get-go that Lizards, they, they, are, they are incredibly strong. I mean, there will be a, 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 tough, a tough nut to crack. Yeah, I mean, they're the, 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 the second best team in the game at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, he uh, Strider actually beat Underworld, right? Beat Artemis 2-0. Mm -hmm. and, and so they defeated the counter team. There's Underworld and now they just stand uh, sta stand ahead of the rest of the competition and it's going to be really, really difficult for Diamond to get it done. It really is. Um, again, folks, let us know who you think is going all the way. Who is going to be your champion in this grand finals? It is 1-0 right now to Strider, but uh, it's all a playful. We've seen many upsets in this competition thus far. We've seen kind of things turn on their heads. You know, we say every roll of the dice, something different can happen. Quite literally, we've seen it. Uh, but uh, will it happen in this final or will Strider Strider's way all the way through to that grand finals? finals championship win we're going to find out very soon uh, i hear that the game is almost ready to dive into so for the last time folks in the chat predictions get them in we want to hear from you uh, as we go back into our grand finals and we see how this one plays out i think uh i think it's going to be fireworks fellas predicting fireworks Boom. catherine wheel central <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah. That is a cat. Yeah, that, yeah. that is a thing. Yeah. It is a thing. Yeah. I should have said something like rockets, but just Catherine wheels well, came to mind. Oh, you just think it's going to spin round in a little circle and be a bit disappointing? Is, no, surely not. It's going to yeah. go off with a massive welcome, rocket. Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> just, just disappointment. <laughs> I live my life but basking in disappointment. Uh, let's jump into. Only joking. It's rockets away here. It's rockets away. Let's dive back into this grand finals. Diamond versus Strider. It is lizards versus orcs, and it is looking mighty spicy. Yeah, thanks for that, Adam. Uh, Strider has won the toss and gone on offense. And I think, honestly, he should have chosen should, defense. I yeah. really do. He's just dominated so hard on defense. Just just keep keep dominating. I, I really like kicking. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I do like the, um, the diamond setup here. Uh, it's nice and nice and solid. But the only thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't have the thrower on defense, right? Why yeah. just not bring, bring a line orc? That means I can take the blitzer off the uh, LOS. And I can actually do two groups of four rather than this three and three and two. I think the two groups of four is slightly stronger. Um, but I, I like the three, three and two, isn't it? But normally you have it one ahead to yeah. counter frenzy teams. I mean, this is like the Space Invaders setup. Yeah, it's just what, what, uh, two back instead of one. But not more than that, it, it guarantees you you throw for your offense. Yeah. Like what happens on defense here, he's armor eight. Every single chance Strider gets to target this thrower, he will. And then he's an armor eight player that can get removed and now you know, a diamond who struggled on offense might have to do without even the thrower. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a totally different ball game. No, no thrower. Um, yeah. Solid defense here. Do you jam the guard in, or are you not jamming? <sighs> I, mean, I don't know. It's that's a tough choice. You can do you can do whatever you like, can't you? At the end of the day, like um, Diamond knows what to do. You know, he's he's done the job on defense. The, the, this isn't the hard part for him. <laughs> so I think he's probably going to make the right decisions here. Yeah. So. Who, who am I? Who am I to try and second-guess Diomed? I think you'll make the right choice. Yeah, I, I like the idea of slamming in. That's, I mean, that's what you've got the guard biggins. Go and... Go and go guard on. biggins. Go and pop them in. 
That's four. I'm not sure about the other two on the other side because the Crocs does make this a little bit spicier. Yeah, yeah. And you've like got to defend that vulnerable thrower. <laughs> but yeah. that, that, that's that's nice. I wonder if you want to... If I don't know. No, I like this. This is fine. Yeah, probably. He's caught it. Wow. On the ball value there. Again, on the ball value. Yeah. <clears throat> wonder if he... Yeah, this is a problem, actually, isn't it? The two... The two the guards two there. next yeah. to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the chat are asking what, what, what was announced. Uh, so, just to give a summary there. First of all, uh, the person that came on was uh, Viertop from Nacon. And he was talking about what things are going to come up this year. The full announcement is going to be coming out on Monday or Tuesday. He said early next week. So, to me, that's kind of Monday, Tuesday, probably. Uh, but uh, the short version is that this is going to happen once a year and then there's going to be a seasonal playoff every year, uh, every every quarter uh, thereafter. Well, this will be a world championship and yeah. the qualifiers will come from the, the, the season playoff winners and also community leagues um, and competitions. Community competitions, wasn't it? That was, the, yeah, yeah. That was what was said. So, yeah, very, very exciting. You know, both of those things are great. And it can only be great for Blood Bowl. It's great to see, like, Nick, I'm so committed to the competitive scene. I think it's amazing. Yeah, yeah that, that for me is the biggest takeaway of all of this, isn't it, right? That not only have we got all these extra cool things, actually what it says is we're going to get support for all of those cool extra <laughs> things for some time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and I've, I've heard some people in the community go, oh, is, is, it, is, this, is this a problem? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, absolutely brilliant. So, yes. Yeah, r Full announcement will come out um, early next week. Yep. Raven says we need the proper league tools. Well, yeah, it's not a stretch to then think, Raven, that they're obviously aware of this because they wouldn't make such an announcement without the ability to deliver on stuff like that. It's going to be amazing. I mean, they already have, right, with the NAF kickoff. That that was a community yep. event, essentially. And people will be able to apply, he said, didn't he? Uh, people, can, people will be able to apply to... Uh, win a spot on the competitive circuit with their competition. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just, it's just wicked. Yeah. Strider is 1-0 up in the series, uh, that they've been asking there. It was 1-0, 1 1-0 1 to Strider. He has the advantage here. And he's yep. looking, he's looking really strong, isn't he? I mean, Very. Diamed has come up with great, great turns to, to save the defensive drives. And if he doesn't make that, like if he doesn't have that excellent turn, he, you know, he could have lost both games already, right? So yep. it's it's he's putting a constant pressure to make amazing plays. And so far he's he's done it, but it just takes one one slip up from Diamed and I think it'll it's, it's so hard. You've got to be so on the ball against Lizards there. Yeah. A brutal team. Would would you take the mighty blow hit round the side here with the uh, with the mighty blow onto the skink? Um would that would that interest you to try and just whittle down a bit of numbers, or are you mighty blowing a Saurus because a removal there is unreal? I think I think I'd be hitting Saurus, yeah, probably, probably. I do like hitting Saurus because yeah, by putting that guard in, you get the Crocs hit, and then you can follow and get the Saurus hit, and then you just clear all the hits away. Yeah, but no, he's going for the he's going for the skink hit. Yeah. I just prefer clear, clear, clear away, right? Just don't take hits. Do, do this hit first. Actually, do this hit first, and then on a pow, then you can the follow yeah. and then hit the Saurus. And if it's a push, then, then, well, I guess you could bring the uh, bring Mr. Throw over and still blitz. So it just it would just change what you would do, actually. But yeah, I'm I'm bl I'm clearing blocks. I'm clearing blocks is what is what I want to do the most. Yeah, I, I, I think this is an interesting alternate line of play that he's going for here, which is he's. he's Traditionally, just sat back and said to the lizards, "Go on, then do, do what we want for a couple of turns." Actually, this is right. I'm going to chase you around. Oh, that oh, is my big. Word. That is huge. I mean, I think he has to wapo it. Yeah. Even though it's thirty-seven and a half percent, it's an instant castle. He does not apo it. Wow. Boy, howdy. That is huge. Game equity, equity. <laughs> has just shifted. I mean, that's huge, right? Turn yeah. one. Turn one, dead Saurus. Yeah. Oh. Should, should we check in with the community's vote on who they think is going to win this competition? Mm. Uh, Overall? Yeah, we're saying, we're asking, will Strider make it 2-0? <coughs> 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 
<coughs> Excuse me. Well, Diamond managed to even the score. 50-50. 50-50. OMG. Yeah, I mean, it's finely balanced, right? Diamond's or Diamond won the first game in the winner's bracket final. And then Striders won the first game in the grand final. So they are tied 1-1. Uh, you know, in the entire competition, in this in this <laughs> grand final, Strider has the edge. Wow, I, I was thinking about this more and more, and and actually, the, the Strider has 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 managed to convert more consistently, and than than Diamed, Although he's played some fantastic turns, and I think that probably would make Strider overall favourite as well. Like not only the racial matchup, but actually, if you just are more consistent more of the time. If you play this over a longer number of games, that should pay out. Yeah, I mean, I've, he's consistent because his team is better, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Diamond is having to make great turns because his team is worse. So, so if the if the roles were reversed and Strider had the Orcs and Diamond had the Lizards, you know, then we'd see probably great turns from Strider as he had to pull something out of the bag. He hasn't really had to do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a nice graphic on the screen there. Huh? Yeah, the grand final. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the red, the red one shows who's up, right? Yeah. Nice. I like that. Yeah. I wish I could have something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we we never play best of threes, though, Andy. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is really cool, and it's going to be interesting to see if you know, if it does like mentally affect either of them, you know. But I, I don't think it should do. You know, Stride is. You know, we've been tabletop playing loads of games over a weekend, hasn't he? Diamond's grinding loads of games. I think both of them are pretty set up to do well. Yeah, I, I, I mean, when you, I don't know, how many, how many games can you stream before you start in getting fatigued in a normal stream? Four, five, six. So a normal stream is different. A normal stream is a lot different, right? A normal stream is where we're playing at like what eighty percent or something. Mm, they're, yeah. they're having to play 100% here. It's a lot different. I think probably at max, the, the probably the third game is where you start to fall off. Yeah. Playing max. Okay. So we should actually see a strider deterioration here. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Just into a little puddle. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that, Dimmy. Uh, I, there's nothing I can say on air, but uh, <laughs> next time I stream, <laughs> I'll <laughs> respond to these accusations, Dimmy G. <laughs> Some streamers do a subathon. They do. Not these streamers, right? <laughs> <laughs> Never been tempted to do a subathon? Ever? Uh, no. Just keep going I, and going and so, going? So I have genuinely done one uh, stream for charity. I did two 12 hour streams back to back. Uh, and day three, I actually died. Yeah. And were reincarnated well, as a. Reincarnated, yeah. Yeah, incarnated. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was horrible. <laughs> God, two, 12 hours, uh, as in two days, 12 yeah, hours, two, both days. Two 12 wow. hours. I, I, well I, done you. Well I, done you for charity, obviously, but well done you for surviving that. That's, that's, a, that's a lot of hours. That's a lot of blood oh, bowl, yeah. That's a lot of yeah, blood yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it 12 hours blood bowl both days? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of blood bowl. I, I couldn't handle it, blood bowl. I've done other games where I've just played for 24 hours accidentally. <laughs> 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 but with blood bowl, it's like, you know, it's pretty intense, right? Brain power all, all yeah. the time. That, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, That's really tough. 12 hours of blood bowl. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was as bonkers as it sounds. Yeah. So now Strider's in a little bit, but bother here because he's he's gone and pushed. He's gone and pushed in. It's not necessarily the clear that that no, worries me, but the orcs actually, with all that guard scattered all over the place, have got him dominated. Yeah. Yeah. This because it's like guard player, not a guard player. Guard player, not a guard player. That just makes the whole wall strength four. Well, that's really nice. This is the thing, isn't it? And the bonehead uh, massive because now he can't clear that guard, which puts pressure on that Saurus. I, he, he's done well here, and he's down a Saurus as well, isn't he, right? So not only is the guard doing really well, yeah. this is the first offense from Striders. No, it's not the first offense. This is a, a Strider offense that is not going to plan. Yep. Standard tri Strider offense <laughs> yes. in this yeah. matchup. Yeah. None of, none of his normal time offenses have gone well. He's either been turned over or hasn't scored, hasn't he? It's... Yeah, it's really gone badly for him in the in the normal time of these games. So he just shifts the cage over. And he's presumably gonna then throw that skink in for the two Ds. Yeah. Gets the power. This will be an armor break, of course, because that's what happens when skinks punch uh 
the, here. Yep, and isolates him as well on one skink. Oh, puts him there. Okay, so puts him, and he does get the armor break. And the removal app of this, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've actually, this is where you've got some pressure. Because the dinosaur is dead, you, you can press her. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good, good apo. 100%. The 1D push. Don't like a follow here. And then no. a 1D on the throw. Yep. Armor 8. Ooh, gets away with it. I mean, that was 50%. And mm. if he gets him down, imagine he's getting you. You know, his apple's gone now. He could have had his thrower killed. It's like, I hate him playing the, the throw on defense. I yeah. genuinely hate that. Yeah. Yeah, I've liked a lot of what he's done. <laughs> but not that. No, it seems... It seems like oh wow we've got a chain haven't we oh oh glorious chain so we can if he powers this guy chains the skink away then he can block this guy and we've got 2d on the ball or 3d on the ball question is has he seen it he surely has yeah i mean the first thing he's done is assist and then the next thing is this right yeah like and then the blitz are in the middle of the field do you do you take maybe the the, the block that has to be the pow first yeah so and both they both have to be pow no the Oh. Oh, this this one has to be a power, right? This yeah, one has to be a power. That one could yeah, be a Yeah, that push. one could be a push. Yes. Yeah. How's yeah, he going to get the assist in now, though? Because you've got to blitz this, the ball carry with block. Yeah, he should have blocked with, with the guard. With here, yeah. yeah. I don't know if he's seen it. It's, it's up in double, the air when he's seen it. Double GFI with tackle, right? Double GFI with tackle. Oh, I like that. Mm. I like that a lot. Yeah, he's seen it, of course. Oh, oh okay. He's still got the big one. The big one could still do it, but it's a GFI, so like maybe he either didn't see it or didn't want it. Oh, he hasn't seen it. Wow. I think he didn't see it. I think he didn't see it because I really like chaining that. <laughs> chaining that. And he ro it didn't roll the power anyway. So, you know, who knows? You, you saw it like straight away. I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. Yeah. And hey, if you're watching at home, what? What you're looking for is a connected defense and offensive line, aren't you? So yeah. the first thing you're spotting there is, no, oh, these, these things are, are connected, therefore I might be able to find a chain. And then once you're thinking that question, you're then going hunting for chains. Yeah, yeah. And you, you know what you're looking to do, which is disrupt the screen, you know, or, or chain out the ball, or, you know, something, something to, to disrupt all of this to get the hit in. Yep. And, uh, you know, that these two in front is, wow, he's, he's three dicing, gets the pow. So you can now go for it with the the tackle. Yeah, follow up, and then the tackle goes. Problem is, if he puts the tackle and he just gets blitzed by the but Saurus, so he probably they should have been swapped. They yeah. should have been swapped. I think the tackle goes on the diagonal. He's going to go. Yeah, if those two are the other way around. Yeah, so much better. So strong. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like, I'll chain off both of them <laughs> yeah. with one blitz. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got that. He's got that a little bit wrong. Yeah, I would I would like the tackle just to stay back here. Uh, you know, cooling off the pressure does suck a little bit, but now he's he's given him like the opportunity, if you like, to scoot past the tackler, leave him in the dust. And he needs to sort of an acorn about using paint overlays during these games for the commentators. Well, L play. In in all seriousness, what was actually talked about was that was uh, we were looking at trying to get something we could actually draw, uh, and the that the staff over in the corner have actually got a Paint Plus application, uh, which is, is absolutely outrageous. It's just unfortunately not, not available for this particular weekend. So we did discuss it. Can't have it. Imagine, <laughs> imagine next year, eh? The World Championships. Paint World Championships. Wow. <laughs> oh. I'm in. <clears throat> oh. Into the big and into the empty square. Follow. Uh, yeah, up here. Oh, sorry, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah. Up, up, up to up, get up. the tackle off, yeah. Oh? Oh, you can punch him again. You can punch him again. Uh, can he? No. Two assists, one assist. Yeah, that's no good. Mm -hmm. That's why so my, my initial reaction was that, and then we're like, no, that's not, no, no. Well, get the errata. tackle away. Errata, errata, this guy has tackle. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. <laughs> They've given Andy an etch a sketch, though. He's happy. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe these ridiculous claims that I would draw anything inappropriate. Unbelievable. <laughs> you wouldn't dare, Jimmy. You wouldn't dare. Oh, he's going to have to stand that up because he can't risk 
He's rolled a skull. He just he could have just chained it away. He gets the pow. But that, that reroll could be costly. Turn four. Who's a dirty dino? <laughs> exactly fine, mate. Only the best of the best. <laughs> oh. oh, no. That means I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've deployed the horse legs, there is nothing else to talk about. <laughs> Honestly. I can only be pretend cancelling flights once. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, back to the game. Mm. All right. Talk to me. About, imagine, imagine next year or for the World Championships. Anywhere okay. in the world we could broadcast from them. We've been very lucky to be in France this time around. Where, else, where in the world would be a, an epic place to, to be able to kind of be... Can I ask a qualifying dancing? question? Yeah, go on. Right. So I've only got experience in this studio Yeah. and the four in the corner have done a fantastic job. I know they can hear me right now, but I can't see them, so I'm just going to ignore them. But they have done a spectacular job, right? Mm -hmm. So can I keep them? <laughs> like little pets, just like <laughs> just take them in my pocket. <laughs> we may have to discuss that with their families. First, but I, I, I don't see a problem just with it. Just for the weekend? Uh, yeah, for the, yeah, for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, yes, you can. Okay, that, 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 right. that, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> well, if that's your only rider, can I please keep these... these people that's fine you can have that they can bring their tools with them <laughs> sure sure yeah sure yeah okay they're tools equipment <laughs> it sounds like that equipment's terrible i can't use that yeah oh, the, ham yeah. the hammers and pliers that put this all together yeah yeah <laughs> the odd nail yeah <laughs> yeah uh what where would you go in the world where would you go in the world uh, new zealand mm. please new that's a great show yeah know. north island i want to see smokes so the backdrop to this would just be a screen but we'd have like mountains and like Waterfalls. Waterfalls. And snow. Yeah, it sounds cheap, doesn't it? it sounds sounds inexpensive. <laughs> Not. You didn't, you didn't qualify. But that's true. That is true. Right, I you didn't. said where in the world. I'm like, oh, that okay. is true. Barnsley. Right? No. Obviously <laughs> not. Obviously not. No. Shout out to anyone living in Barnsley who's watching because it's a lovely place. <laughs> I think. Um, Jimmy, where in the world? Where in the world? I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but right here. Oh, uh, oh. Sorry, I'm feeling it. <laughs> 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 yep. Then they don't need to set their tools anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why did you lean in and nod at Jimmy when you said that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea. No idea. Oh my God. <clears throat> Look at this board state. Look how changed it is. Yep. Wow. But great recovery by Diamond, right? He, he, he had everyone over here. Now he's managed to, you know, only leave three behind and responded pretty well. Yep. And he's got another armor break on a dinosaur as well, which is always nice. Yeah. So blitz the tackle. Yeah, follow. Oh, you can't follow this. I mean, you want to take the bot. You want to take the knockdown, yeah, don't you've you? Got, you've got to take the knockdown. He doesn't. So he's following, so he can push away the tackle. I think Sh surely. Well, it's either that or the guard picking. You're blitzing into the crocs. But I, I like the tackle because you want to get that tackle on a dinosaur. And then leave it there. I mean, surely he's blitzing the big end because <gasps> otherwise you'd have taken the ball. Oh, um, gee, that was wow. a. That, I mean, imagine that one nining. Yeah, Strider clutching at straws already. The Strider straw. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some sort of T Rex, doesn't it? It could be a, could be a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. Or a wrestling move. The Strider straw. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Strider a character in him? In a a fighting lot of the rings. Game? No, it was a fighting game. Oh, yeah, and and um, wasn't he the cop in Mortal Kombat? Strider. Is that Striker? Striker, Mortal Kombat. Ah, okay, close. Oh, wow, so this was the blitz. And that was why that was why I took the push, so we could make this blitz. Yeah. And then Potato away. I don't think he's... I don't think it's Tato. I don't think he's going to Tato. So he's just going to... I think he's going to stay there, yeah. Like... This is Strider. He's going to play carefully. That ball is going in that square. I don't think it's good enough. I, I think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> they can both be true. They're not mutually exclusive, right? They're not in a relationship. Yeah. It, it can, it can both happen. <laughs> it can both happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Wow. Turn five. Who is in the driving seat right now, fellas? We feel the orcs are keeping the lizards at bay. Oh, yeah. comprehensively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. comprehensively. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, four of their players are on the ground right now, but I think they're, I think they're doing pretty well. I think mm -hmm. he is going to potato. 
Well, the ball's so tied up in that bottom left-hand corner, isn't it? Yeah, he's off. He's off. Oh, wow. I think he had to. He's got to do the other one. Yeah. And this is, I mean, actually for Orcs, this is good, right? Because you should shove it in next turn. <coughs> he's got this, got this dodge off blitz, right? That has to be, that has to be the play. Unless yeah. there's... Unless there's... Let's go. Oh, he's left it. Holy moly, he's gone and left it. He hasn't seen it. Strider's missed it. Or he's seen something over there that he's more con concerned about. Yeah. He's just left three plus three two two for two Ds on the wall. Two two D, yeah. I mean, I think that, that has to be the play. Yep. I'd you like, know what he could do? I'd like to see, like, yeah, stuff. pile stuff. The orcs just need to go and yeah, close close the loop. I don't know why I'm just killing. They can't see. But, um, <laughs> but, yeah, they, they need to just pile the safe moves in. Blitz them back to there, so they don't want to do too many safe moves. Because, you know, they're going to have to recover this. If he powers it and it scatters to there, you could double GFI pick it up, right? So he, he definitely wants Everyone, at least the thrower. I think both of these want to be able to respond. I, I'd move, I'd compromise and go one. Because if this fails, you've got no pressure. Because the dinosaurs are free. So I think you've got to take one more. Yeah. So maybe another, the mighty bow back to here. Yeah. Yes, because look at the dinosaur that's free on the halfway line, to left of the crocs, right of the crocs. If you only have one, he stalls for at least another turn, probably two turns. Mm. So it's it's quite a, a swingy dice roll. Oh, well yeah. done, Jim. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Semi moves, safe, safe moves. Yeah, yeah, and then just leave the. I mean, the throw could also just. But if this was throw was a lineman, oh. he could have just based. <laughs> yeah. And then you would have, you know, then you would have just had one safe move to make, and you'd le you'd have one to react potentially. Yeah. Don't hate this. It's fine. Yeah, this this actually gets him like a kind of a better angle as well, right? Like I know it's basically the same hitting from there instead of hitting from there, but you can yeah, you push it sideways. Here we go. Reroll. Re oh, diced. So he's left him. This is why I like doing the the not say you know like leaving this guy because then he could have double GFI'd at the end. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a risk reward payoff because of course that's nice. Now you know you've made the dodge. Sure, you want to move those two blitzes somewhere else. But if you fail the dodge... Only one. On, only this last one. I, I wanted this to be a lineman and move yeah, him here. If, the, if that's a lineman that can go and stand and tag that Saurus, fine, mm. move one, and they're fine. Yeah. But but it's not. <laughs> no. No. Mm. I don't think there's much else you can do here. I like the idea of blitzing the lineman that's marking the skink. Take that with us. Take that with the free saurus. Then the free saurus can run north to touch. That skink can then go and be. If the ball fails, you've got another skink up near the action. Yeah. But there's not. There's not a lot in this. No. There's not much for Strider to uh, do. There's there's a there's a block and a chain here. He can move. Oh no, it's only there. It's not actually chain. Look at those three guards in a line though. Yeah. It would have been okay, right? If if this saurus could get to there. Oh no, but this is the guy who's blitzing. Hmm. No, nope, yeah, there's there's no real freeing yeah. players up. And now, uh, this is the one, yeah. B blitz him and then free him. Yeah. As a, and, this, yeah, as a and it thing. would be really nice to blitz the thrower. I, I, <laughs> the tasty version is thrower blitz. Yeah. But the, it has it has to be the safe one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven hundred quid riding on this. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the time to do like you know a silly surf or something. <laughs> No. Yeah, it didn't just cover the cover the dodge fails, but it's d double dodge to score. That's all there is, isn't it? Yeah. And you've got a reroll. So this is three plus with a reroll, three plus with a reroll. Yep. Nice. Yeah, really nice. I'd go on the diagonal into the corner just because it's further away from the thrower. Yep. It's and and. Both blitzers as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to go that way. Yeah. Okay, here we go. We're doing it now. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. Do that. Yeah, because this is like, you know, blockless. This is one day. He's failed the dodge. Oh, my God, he nearly caught it. So now we have the mighty blow blitz. And the thrower can't actually recover it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's strider offense again has been, yep, yeah, 
fully stopped or partially stopped at least. Yep. Three GFIs, pick up and three GFIs to score. That's very, very doable. Yeah. Amazing. Um, like, Diomed's defense is just god tier. Unbelievable. I like that a lot, covering the fail state. Yeah. <laughs> kind of covers the success state as well a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> that's that's the great thing about it. But the bad thing is not being able to 3D. Because, like, you'd love to 3D here. But you, you just, you have to, you have to pick it up the nearest guy. So it means you, you can only 2D. Yep. Poor Strider. Hmm. I mean, just amazing from Diamond, I think. Yep. Just complete dominance on defense. But then, of course, complete dominance from Strider as well on, on defense. But I think with, with D, oh my goodness. With Demet, it's been like great plays, hasn't it? He's consistently yeah. made great plays on defense. Yeah. Whereas Strider is, it you know, he's got into a great position because the deep kick, uh, the, the slowness of Mr. Throw, and the sheer power of Lizards. And I think Strider's incrementally just it's like ratcheted up the pressure over you know several turns, yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah. Whereas Demet's just found, wow, that was really good. <laughs> yeah. I mean that, that's the oh. thing. Like Demet's having to do that right because the racial matchup. That, that that's yeah, yeah. essentially the thing. It's. It's a lot harder for the, the favorite to like make great plays because all they have to do is have like, you know, the inevitable occur almost. Yeah, not make bad plays is what yeah. they need to do. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is it's it's tricky scary now. now, yeah. Three rerolls, three GFIs without a reroll is about a 50-50, isn't it? Yeah. So this is worrying. Might try and do a handoff just to save himself the GFIs. Even though it might add another pickup and stuff, like it's tricky, isn't it? Really tricky. Yeah. There is this tackle blitz. Maybe you know you can like blitz with him and get him upfield and try and hand it off to him or something. Yeah, yeah Strider's not gonna be happy about just leaving him on there. Curious to see whether he's gonna move any of the Blackhawks because they're actually doing a complete unit as a job. Just you're making Strider. I think you have to do something because because if you don't. The crocs can block straight forwards. So that frees you a dinosaur, and that dinosaur runs right. And and, and Strider will take that block, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So if yeah. you go um, as the dinosaur, as the black orcs, we go start with the left, blocks diagonally yeah. down. Yeah. Follow no matter what, block diagonally down. Yeah. And and there we go. And that that actually makes that line a lot safer, yeah. so long as you don't double skull. Yes, a one in nine even. So yeah, it's very yeah, scary. One in nine. Yeah. And now he actually has to. And there's the one in nine. This is actually okay, right? They're paired off. That was actually a fine result. Yeah. The Soros is still paired off. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> a push there would have been uh, probably okay. Yeah. And power obviously good. So, yeah, he just needed pushes, really. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Crocs is up. Hmm. I think Strider will blitz uh, probably pull that dinosaur in into the game. It's funny, it's a long long view, isn't it? Like how how spread out everything is. Yeah. Uh, we've got the cars there. It's like it's the whole the, the whole spread of like the tackle down here, the the skink running up there. It's it really is like the whole field spread out, which you'd think would favour the lizards, but right now it means that the saurus are stranded, and the skinks while they're fast, yeah, there's pretty good cover for them. Yeah. He's not going to try the five plus, is he? Is he? He might. It's a GFI as well, though, isn't it? That makes it a bit harder. But it might be the last chance you get to five plus. He could also just try like a million skink dodges. Uh, that that skink can one dodge to it to base the ball, and then this skink could dodge away to hit. And then you can maybe do a few with him to see if you get a 2D. Yeah. Like a... Yeah, it's full 2D, yeah. That skink won't even need to dodge because you can you can bring the dinosaur across. You block the dinosaur. Oh, oh yeah, you can 2D. Just 2D, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As, long as, you, as long as you knock it over. You, he's got to dodge here, though, right? This this guy. Yeah. He's, he's got to go in this way to blitz. So he's down. He's got, to, he's got to go 8 to there and then double GFI to go forward. And this guy can just dodge to there. And it's whether you go for, like... A bunch of dodges here. 
think four dodges. I guess. Uh, yeah, I think we've seen some people in in tournament already do a dodge, see what happens. If it's if but dodge procs, maybe stop, keep going. I think Inarium was very good at that during his run. Yeah, yeah, a, a, a turn at a time. Yeah, I think, time. I think I think that's the play to try and make it two D. <clears throat> and I think this is the play to to go for the skink. Yeah. So yeah, he's made that dodge. Oh, he's made the second dodge. Okay. Mm. Does that mean that this guy's going to do three dodges? I think so. To go there, it saves him the dodge. And the skink on the far right, that's a double go for it to do two Ds, right? Uh, yeah, and a, and a dodge. A dodge and a double GFI. Rough. It is rough, but if it's what you've got to do, it's what you've got to do, isn't it? And I think that's it's pretty desperate for him now. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, he's one Ding. Yeah. That that that's what that, that move tells me there. It's a one. I I kinda like going for the two. -er. It saves a GFI and Yeah, yeah I guess this push is pretty good, isn't it? Actually, double tagged. He yeah. has to make all those GFIs to score. Yeah. Yeah, and he, and Diamond's out of rerolls here as well. Right, so yes you can possibly the the this the green skink is going to eat a hit. Yeah, so he, he goes here. He blocks him. Um, he comes in here. Mighty Blow runs around, blitzes. If you and, get power, they're both off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really good, isn't it, if you get the power. Do you dodge if you don't get the power on the possibility that you could then drop the ball and then one of the little ninjas could run in it's and a have, question, have a win with it? it? It's a good question. Without a reroll, maybe not. Is this guy in range? He is. That's interesting. That's that's high up on my hit list of things to do. Yeah. Because if you break armor there, that's just a scoring threat. Yeah. Well, there's, uh, these two big ones both got oh. stunned. So <laughs> yeah, not much of a scoring threat. He's probably going to get sat on by a Croxagore. So it doesn't do the chain. And it doesn't get the power anyway. I, I don't think I go and... I don't think I go for this, because there's three skinks that could just menace me. Yeah. Maybe just stay in the line, right? Stay yeah. in an eye cage. Yeah, and say, ha, yeah. ah, it's nil-nil. Um, I've killed one of your dinosaurs, and I'm getting the ball. Yeah. My offense was not good, but <laughs> yeah. let's see how you defend with five. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. The danger is, of course, this Saurus here. Oh, yeah. So you maybe don't make this block at all. Yeah. Because he's stood in the perfect spot. He does hit with a ball carrier. I, I like not hitting with the ball carrier, even though you, the ball's based. He's, you know, he can uphill you anyway. So yeah, he's got him. Yeah. Ko still has the apple. Doesn't use it. That's that's more touch and go <coughs> than I think it might be because you're down to ten now, and you're, you're very likely only a fifty-fifty again. Yeah. Back, yeah. I think I think I even though it's. Yeah, you know, just a skink. There's an argument. Yeah, absolutely. Fifty percent. It it works, <laughs> kind of. Mr. Rocker Crocker says yes. Even with Andy being here, the commentary has been top notch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Crocker, You're, we're all right going down one viewer, right? It's okay. He's asked a great question though. What's your favourite dinosaur? Halosaurus, of course, for me. A halos. Halosaurus. Yeah, you don't know my my whole thing of halo. Andy I, does, he's just yeah. playing dumb. All right, hello, sorry, T tell me, tell me. Because I say hello all the time, because I lived in Germany for a bit, and the only <laughs> German that I speak is hello. <laughs> so I've got an immortal how hello. Long did you, how long did you live in Germany for? Like two years. <laughs> he's, yeah, two but, years, and you always hello. <laughs> yeah, but he's British, right? <laughs> yeah. We don't pick it up in that sort of time scale. <laughs> yeah, but you sure, I mean, even, I mean, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, I know more than that, and I've never been, well, I've been there a few times. Can't, you learned more than that, surely. No. I mean, I did, but it's, you know, come on. <laughs> I'd love to hear some. <laughs> We'd all love to hear some of Jimmy's German. Okay. That could be that could be a whole stream in itself. Oh, okay. Right. Jimmy's German. Ne next minute, let's have some commentary in German. Take it away, Mr. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, now, the problem with this is... <laughs> That's English. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with this is... A lot of the words I can't say. Okay. <laughs> in case people can't speak German. <laughs> oh. Mein Freund? No. Yeah, you can see, it's just I things like um, house. 
yeah, Dasi Ser Kutia. Um, ich heiße Adam. So that's all I've got. That's literally all I've got. My name is. Ich, uh, what's the ich, difference between Ich heiße and Ich bin? Right. I'm from and I am. Oh, is that what it was? They never taught me at school. I right? think it's Ich. Isn't it Ich bin? Is that right? Ich. But it's like it's one like, is like my name is and the other one is I am. Right. Oh, is that what it? Yeah. If only I'd learned that at school, I might have paid more attention. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm. Yeah, I'm Okay. Yeah, my name is and I am. Yeah, very my name good. Is, okay. Well <laughs> done. I am. And that is my entire German play playbook, by the way. That is it. I know about familian houses. I don't know what they are, but there's a familian house. I think it's a very long house. I think. I think. Then, I think the word for stop is Entschuldigung. That's oh, and handy. Like, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, Entschuldigung. Mm. That's a good word. <laughs> But instead of saying that, <laughs> instead of excuse me, what you do is you say, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. It's literally, honestly. Hello. They just, they just say hello like about 10 different ways. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we go. We've word. gone for the dodge. We've gone for the 2D. Puts in the reroll. Gets the oh, pow. Oh, my word. This could be play of the month right here. And the skink that hasn't moved is in scoring range with yep. go for it. And a favourable bounce. That is got it. not too no, favourable. Yeah, that's got it. He's just got to go through. Yeah, Shum. it's a lot of dodges, but yeah. I mean, it's 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 good in that it's not in tackle zones. But I yeah. mean, this is the best one. And that is a bad one. Brilliant. <laughs> that's it. Uppo. Uh, the apple has gone. Uh, no dear. Yeah. I think... Strider is staring down the barrel of 1-1. One, one. Mm. He is. Or, is or, or rather, a 1-0 defeat in this game, and then Diamed tying up the series. And we're going to get a double surf here. Are oh, you excited, delicious. Andy? I, I, I'm more excited than I can let on right now. <laughs> there is an element of... <laughs> <laughs> excitement. <laughs> just, just, you can feel it. The palpable excitement is building. Best move of the tournament. Take the push, take the push. I mean, it's it's not the best move of the it tournament. Is. It's an oh. easy, obvious double serve. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Strider. Oh, Strider. Mm. Oh, no. Comedy Mega. Comedy Mega does not surf the Saurus. And that gets nothing for surfing the skink. But Both no. KOs stay out. Ew. Oh boy. Well, this is this is uh, exactly what Diamond needs for his offensive drive. And you know, we were talking about maybe Strider should choose to kick. And imagine if he had kicked with a full team. Mm. You know, he probably gets the stop. Maybe he gets the turn turnover. This is what Diamond actually needed for a successful offense. Only nine players. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, need, what was he need? He needs to play in the second half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he needs nine men, and th th then he can score. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is very much looking like, uh, you know, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna see those. <laughs> you know how my predictions have been, <laughs> but this is looking pretty strong for a diamond one nil win in this game. Yeah, it's really looking strong, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't get to look much better than this, Jim. No. Wow, huge. He's gone for the same setup again. It's like, he's just... The two big ones not in the middle. The tackle blitz are floating. Yeah. I don't. I never understand his offense. I don't get his offensive setups at all. And the, the interesting thing is that it didn't... It worked out so badly for him in the... Uh, Last three attempts, this. Yeah. <laughs> no, but in the, fir the first attempt, which was the winner's bracket final, right? So he, he had time to look at it and change it and decided it was fine. The, the weather has just changed. If we... What, what is the weather now? Oh, it's sunny. Very sunny. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That thrower can't even get to base the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, there's some propaganda that orc throwers are bad, but, uh, you know, who can say if it's good or not being able to reach the ball? <laughs> yeah, that is terrible. <laughs> It's still great, though, isn't it? Like two players down, including a Saurus. It's yes, he's got, he's, he's got to be pretty pretty odds on now, right? For this for this game. Yeah, I like. I I think he was going to block 
left, right to left. I think he's now flipped it, and I like this. So just get that other blitzer go and stand next to the ball. I actually prefer. I actually prefer because he was going to go. Yeah, he's going to go that way. Yeah. I think he's got. He's now gone that way to free up players yeah. on the side of the ball. But I prefer doing this one first, right? We just move oh, just this blitzer. Yeah, yeah, just move this free blitzer first. Yeah. Get him maybe to here. Really show this up. The fact that you just absolutely positively cannot pick up the ball on on the thrower. I guess maybe you could just pull this guy back and put in a team reroll to pick up the ball. Go for the pick up this turn. Yeah, that's an option. Two players up. I think you can afford to go blitzer down. Yeah. Ah, so use him to blitz. So that gives you a lineman instead. And the blitz can kind of rotate a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, pretty it's good. okay. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Gives you a safer block as well. Yeah, pretty pretty good. Pretty good from Diamed. Enjoying Diamed's play. Yep. Ball. <laughs> I mean, this is actually pretty safe, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's safe. even if a skink went in here, the, the safer play now is to now now that he, now that this is a pow and a stun, slightly safer to like move yeah. the big gun back to here, say, and then the blitzer back to here. Then it's really a million percent safe. In fact, yeah. the the big gun to there, yeah. So then you're not getting through with the source as much. Like it's it's actually better to like space it like this for skinks, but I think yeah, okay, directly in front uh, or behind and then space this one out oh it goes for the pickup gets it lovely yeah Nyaga says it's Strider Swiss yeah, yes yep needs to go for it go for it <laughs> went for it rushed he, yes <laughs> he, he moved fast additionally in an extra square away from the sideline Oh, Chuck, nice. I do like a good chain. Hmm. Into a Crocs. Into a Crocs, mighty blow hit. Into another hit, potentially. Yep. Yeah, I like this. He ne he Strider needs something, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, can he can he turn it around in any way? Can he prevent? But then again, he's even overtime. So with overtime, he would get two players back. So he would go back to having eleven. Potentially. So, yeah, potentially having eleven. Mm -hmm. So I I don't hate Strider playing fairly passively here to start with, right? It, I think you've kind of got to. I'd certainly want to hold on to the rerolls. I'm not playing hyper aggressively and tipping rerolls in. So I, I don't I don't mind what he's doing here. And the Orcs have to score if they don't want the overtime. So it would be some result if Strider turned this round and scored from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just play, play super safe and super safe and hope things hope things work out. Yeah. And it's interesting because Diamed, you know, he still has to get it done. It's he can't just play safe and and trust that he'll score it. Like it's it's still even against nine players, it's still hard. You know, Orcs are still slow. They still got to get it done. So this this is not a time for like Diamond to be taking it easy and you know trying to hunt skinks and think, oh, I've got this wrapped up with it, with the nine players. He, he really he's, he he should know. I mean, I'm sure he does know. He's really going to have to work for the win still, even though he's two players up. Mm. Such is the power of Blizzard. Mm. Would have got a 3D if it was strength 3, but <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Clears him off the uh, big one, which is pretty nice. And sets up that hit. Yeah, yeah good, like good stuff from Diamond, for sure. I would like to see that big one in, in that's just floating in the middle of nowhere. Just going to be a back cage corner. Let the tackle blitzer not be a back cage corner, so that the lizards aren't tempted to just shove you know, blitzer yeah. cage. I I don't think they are, but it it takes away any form of doubt 
he does. I mean, th there is a free. There's free source on either side, isn't there? So there's a lot to be said for just keeping as wide as possible, on like both sides Could to do. cover that. Yeah, actually, in second thoughts, yeah, that's, he's actually defending Mr. Throw, and getting Mr. Throw smashed in the head would be even worse. So no, I, I, I don't like my play. It's terrible. Errata, errata. Yeah, errata. <laughs> I hate it. That's, this is why I'm sat here talking about it rather than playing, basically. <laughs> it's super congested in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually crazy. All these players in such a small area of the field. <laughs> Absolute full meat cube. There was, I mean, there was absolutely zero chin pushes, though, because they were all prone, weren't they, for the lizards? Yeah, yeah, he had them all bowled over. He gets the crocs in on the ball. But, I mean, there's going to be easy chain pushes out for the Orcs, presumably. Yeah. This is the problem with being two players down. Like, you're physically just bodies down to stop nonsense happening. Yep. Yeah, you can, you can 2D off the crocs. So he's got one, fr well, three free guards. So while it's great that he can plug them in, it, it's actually somewhat difficult to get them in. It, maybe what he has to do is uh, just tag out the oh, skink you can, and then blitz in here. You can then that gets the guard in for this you, and this and this. You could solve it all in one chain. So put the... Oh, he's going to go for a completely different play. All right. Yeah. Same thing from the other end, essentially. Yeah. I was looking top down. Yeah, yeah, I, I was. I, I was going to go and blitz, blitz in here and then and then block all the way down. Yeah. Because then you're pushing your own player into the ball and therefore you can't possibly still be based. Yeah. But he's gone opposite route. This is possibly a little more complicated to solve. It maybe makes more hits in the end. Yeah, I'm not be. sure. I, I, what I liked about my play is getting the guard right in, right? I, yeah. I would have I got two guards in there. Yep, yep. Um, whereas now he's got a guard in here and a guard up there. He can still just stand the guard in here, so it's still pretty strong. I think that Saurus can get round, can't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's left yeah. two dice on the ball currently. Yeah. Just take that big and one square to the right before you roll any more dice. <laughs> just just take that off the table. Yeah, or, 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 or base the uh, Saurus. There's a possibility. But it's, you know, this is pretty bad now that these guys are standing up. Yeah, run back a little bit. Don't hate that. Because they're pretty trapped in here. And this is actually somewhat weak, right? Oh, he's, he's gone back, Kate, back corner. Wow. This is the problem playing into lizards, I found, as orcs. Which is the moment you take the foot off the throat of the orcs. That, sorry, the lizards. They just all pop back up again, right? Like they've been inflated. <laughs> Was there like an air blower underneath? Them? Yeah. Like, Hello. Uh, yeah. And and then they just you know, demolish me. I hate it. Yeah, the monster, monster team. This is Dino monsters. My chair has developed a squeak. I don't know if you guys <clears> can hear it, but it's travelling up through my spine into my head, and I can hear a squeaky the chair. The squeak? I can't. I can't. I haven't noticed the squeak. Okay. No. Good. Yeah, if you guys are going at home can hear it, it's uh, it's me, squeaking. <laughs> yep. And that's because we've entered squeaky bum time. Very good. <laughs> Jimmy. Very good, yeah. Yeah. Good one. Thank you've you. reached that point in the competition, we're just like, well done, yeah. Good one. I hated it. <laughs> Too polite to say I yeah, hated it. I'm saying it's great, but in reality, I'm, I'm dying inside. <laughs> The chair has actually got a squeak, right? It, it genuinely has. <laughs> Double pow. Yep, huge. Now, like, now you can just keep powering down the line as well. Dare I say a strider resurgence? Maybe, Maybe. I mean, ball based. AV break, pows. You, can pow you know, if he keeps powering each hit here. He's 75% now. He got the 55% knockdown. Now he gets 75 hits. Mm. 
I think he's mid. I think, yeah, there we go. He's knocked down every player he's hit, I think. He's five players down. Yep. Bit of a pickle. I mean, it's, ob it's obviously easy to hit him on two dice. But the question is, does he want to, uh, you know, do it with, um, with block and... Yeah. I, I think he... I I think he should. Oh. Ooh. Well, now he definitely does with block. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because now, now, now you're standing up this guard and you're three dicing, and then you're blitzing with block. I think. Uh, somehow, because you could also come around here to hit the hit the crocs to free the tackler to blitz. Yeah, if you wanted to blitz the uh, skink, yeah, you could you could also push push him up here and block him there and. All sorts of possibilities here for the uh, for the orcs, but this is very scary now. These three in a row. Yeah, I like just pushing away, just clearing. Yeah. Yeah, the the, the Saurus on the halfway line are the threat, aren't they? It's not that this turn; it's what could they do next turn. Yeah. Yeah, this is all fine and dandy using a blitz to clear all of this, but yeah, this is this is the problem looming on the horizon. That's done. Nothing behind the crocs. <laughs> hmm. Gotta check that. So the big and if he puts the non skilled blitzer in he can get two. Okay. It's tricky to put the ball somewhere here. Yeah. I think it's kind of got to go behind that line, but not... I'd go behind the tackle blitzer, I think. Ooh. Hmm. Around the tackle blitzer is really, really scary, though, because you have to make this Oh, block. dear. Yep. And lizards. <laughs> lizards with nine players just <laughs> being absolute pains to do anything against. I think I had to be one back, right? So that this screen remains intact. Yeah. So I'd be one back. At the moment, this isn't a screen if he, if he just block him and then blitz. So now he has to keep Mr. Throw there. Whereas if, if he was one back, this screen would remain intact. And he could have had something on the other side. But I guess it's just about good enough. I think it'll hold now. Yeah. Yeah. But he's going to eat a bunch of hits, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, I mean, he survived the, the five players getting knocked over turn. <laughs> so, so, there's not too many should be going down next turn, uh, three or four, right? And they might not all go down, so you can hopefully be in a better spot next turn. Yeah. Pondering whether Strider even wants to go in. I don't think he does. I think he just keeps playing safe. Because I, I would quite like this to go to overtime if I'm Strider. I think. Get your players back onto the... Uh, Ch try, yeah. Pit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could obviously rather turn him over, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, that's riskier, right? So you so you want to you wanna play the more conservative line just to increase the chance of you getting to overtime. You, you'd rather get to overtime, like, 90% of the time than turn him over 20% of the time because that's just stupid, isn't it? Basically, like, it gets scored on 80 and, and scored 20 is stupid. <laughs> Yeah, you want to take take the nil nil if you well. Be more assured of a two nil uh, of a nil nil than, than try and be too adventurous. There's the knockdown. <coughs> Which gives him the crocs. Oh, he's taking the push. Wow. I was just trying to think, like maybe there was a. a uh, something on the ball but it's too adventurous like we just we just both we're well, not doing anything adventurous um mm -hmm. and yet it doesn't look like there's anything on the ball though does it no because there's some fun chain pushing but i just don't see how you push the saurus down two more no you'd need like um you need like two skinks <laughs> and well, then I'm wondering if he goes and then there another one right you need three skinks yeah. And then you could block him into there, into there, or whatever. But then you'd be in the way anyway. It just doesn't make any sense. There's just no change. No. He 
He's getting a lot of hits, though. Yeah. This is going to... At some point, Orc Armor is not invulnerable. It's just resilient. Yeah. But only two knockdowns. So, you know, that's uh, it's not terrible. I mean, it's 55% for, for some of them, isn't it? Mm. So if he, if he can... Uh, if you can survive them. Oh, well, there's another one down. I thought you'd have gone for the guard big in there in the top. It's easier to knock over, but he's yeah, playing. More conservative as well, isn't it? You know. Yeah. This is, uh, he's got to play a level with the ball. So now if he gets knocked over, he's behind the ball. He can get zoned out. It's, uh, it's a little bit spicy. This is, unlike, and spicy is not Sp Strider, right? Stry Spider is, you know, cheese and tomato. <laughs> Right, it's nice, and you like it, Adam. You had a you know, no, it's me. I had a cheese and tomato pizza earlier. Did you right. see the pizza I had the other night? Did you see what was on it? Right, and I get criticised for my pizzas. Yours was mine just was bizarre. mad. I, it was it was an, an autumn, an autumn pizza, and I was like, do you know what? I could I could have like a ham and mushroom, sure, but I'll try something different. Different. I kid you not, it had tuna and flowers. Yeah, it did. It actually <laughs> had flowers, yeah. like full flowers on it. Yeah. It was tuna and flowers. It was mad. I mean, I went like I mean, I it had fi fig jam as well. Tuna, fig jam, and flowers. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, I call the Andy special. Andy, we all over that. Uh, he <laughs> loved that in his gob. I, and, and by the way, chat, these aren't like flowers. Like we're not talking flowers in eggs and flour, and you make a cake with it. No, no, no. Like flowers with like actual like. Yeah, the, the I think it had a. I think there was a daffodil on it. Yeah. Or something of that. Yeah. Yellow, something yellowy. Yeah. yeah. Ask, ask me if I ate it. Did you eat it? You're darn right I did. Ah, nice, You're nice. darn right I did. <laughs> nice. I shoved it in there. <laughs> All in. <laughs> That's me. Go big or go home. You know? Nice. I mean, surely this is just stick the stick one of the big ones here. Chains. Blitz him. Chain the ball to there. Then block him. Block him if you have to. And, and you're away, aren't you, actually? Three. Yeah, yeah, and you've got all this tied up pretty Do, pretty do that slow, right? Just so I can follow that. Okay. Wait, remember, I'm... I'm Guard in here. Yep. Guard, one, two, three dice, blitzes him, pushes him to here. Yep. If you power him, then you've got a 2D to free the, the ball carrier. And if you power him, you also free the blitzer. Yep. If you only push him, then, you've, then you can do this two dice for a push yep. um, on the skink there. And then, you know, as long as you push him, then you've got the 2D. But obviously, you might not free the tackler. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I like that. It's game three. I, I, it's, it's a bit quick for me now. <laughs> well, we've got this hit. He can still, he can still do it, can't he? He's just, yeah, he's just doing a different order of operation. Yeah. And it's, it's almost slightly worse because what you were talking about was the tackle blitzer. In some scenarios, is free to run around and cause mayhem. Yeah. And and a three dice block blitz is better than a two dice. So. Order operation, this is slightly worse. However, we haven't seen what he's actually trying to achieve yet. Yeah. Mm. I can imagine you were like flarting poppies out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, let's call it that, yeah. Although, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something massively trolly here. People are saying it's some, it sounds somehow worse than pineapple on pizza. I'm not going to lie to you. I, and I know this is gonna this is gonna cause chaos. I love it. I shove as much pineapple on my pizza as possible. I'm all over it. I love ham and pineapple pizza. I don't yes, add... Jimmy. <laughs> yes. yes, Jimmy. Yes, Jimmy. I knew I liked you. Yes. You're all right, Andy. But I love you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> this is cast of favoritism. Uh, no, no, no. Right. I, they I think... said that that was not allowed. They say it's in the contract. You're not allowed to have caster favoritism. <laughs> I just said about the pineapple, you made a face like a turnip. Jimmy's with no, me. No, I like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, it's just my natural face. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Unbelievable. Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Unbelievable. I think we were scrunching it up. I think it was. A, it might have been a smile. I don't know. But, um, my don't know. I don't, do, you, do you actually like pineapple on pizza, genuinely? I, that's the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. My God. I thought you, oh, my I, God. No, no, not at all. I think you... Um, I, 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 I would... I would because you you've often said about that certain kind of foods that you like and don't like, I would never put you as a pineapple and pizza guy. I love the fact you're part of the pineapple squad. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Squad p turnip is apparently what I'm actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. He's got to reroll uh, this. Oh, my hey! God. Quad skulls. Quadlies. Everyone loves a good quadly. Oh, dear me. And then the double one as well. 
Oh my goodness. Wow, and nine players and he's 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 getting the job done. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Chat, you're egging these two on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Behave yourselves. Right. He puts horse meat on his pizza. So what? <laughs> He's dying. He's going to fall off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, God. <laughs> Taxi and fantastic. What a day. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Right, anyway, back to the game. Uh, Skink died, and we had quad schools. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbe actually unbelievable, yeah. And the, the crazy thing is, Strider's doing this with nine players. Eight now. Yeah. And it's, it's still looking pretty strong. He's got a free Saurus. But I don't see a way at the ball, unless I I'm do. being stupid. Box, box. He's just made a box, look. Just made a box. Lovely, lovely. So there isn't a way to the ball, but there is a way to miss the throw and then chain the ball onto here. Beautiful. And then run around, cancel. cancel that assist, and you've got an assist here. Then you can pow, and then you can pick up and score. This is genius. Brutal. Yeah, this is brutal. So you need to cancel one, because at the moment it's strength five versus strength five. That green skink in the halfway line needs to come round, tag out the tackle sink, uh, tackle. Yeah, one, take two, two one for the three, team. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, so, it's slow. So you do one dodge first, see if you have to do the second one. And you might do the GFI anyway, right? Because it's like the game's yeah. on the line. And you've got two rerolls here. I'd... Yeah, you probably have to do the GFI anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Dodge GFI. Fails the one in nine. Oh. Oh, Such wow. Such a good play as well. Yeah, it was lovely. Lovely stuff from Strider. So there you go. You see, when Strider has to make a great play, he, he, you know, he's more than capable of it. Yeah. It's just that what was happening was he was getting in such a dominant position. You don't have to play well when you're crushing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, he was the both games before that he was crushing uh, Diamond. Whereas now, I mean, that was that was a great play. But now we might see Diamond. Uh, you know, that that's letting him in, right? That was. Funnily enough, the quad skulls that could have cost Diamond the game. Now he can just, uh, you know, two dice block, three dice blitz, get up the field, and there's going to be three. You know, all these basically tagged off now. Oh my god, he's one oh. in nine. Gets the push. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, Nico just says, uh, Why is Andy incapable of accurately reporting the severity of injuries from badly hurt to deceased? Why is it always dead? Because it is. Um, because they are dead. It doesn't matter what level of dead they are, right? It's dead. So it's a resurrection format. So after each match, all of the casualties are, are gone automatically. Um, Strider's apothecary is used. So at this point, any casualty of any kind might as well be dead. Um, obviously, this one actually was dead. Before the apple is used, it doesn't matter what they are because it affects your apple usage. But yeah, once the apple is gone, everything is dead. Does not blitz with the tackle, so that means he gets the tackle upfield, which is lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate chat. I actually do. I don't know why I became a Twitch streamer. There's so many <clears throat> unfriendlies in there. <laughs> it's not the word I would use on my stream, but they are. It's the word I'm going to use here. So the, the tackle has to base him, right? Yeah, yeah. No, he's just going to screen. Okay. Not sure how much he's doing there. I, I really did like putting him under pressure. But maybe this is better. Dodge the mighty blowout or leave it? If you leave it, he can clear the crocs. So, maybe you can clear the crocs anyway. I think you have to 1D this guy. You just have to 1D him. Okay. Yep. He dodges. That's, mm. I guess that's semi preventing the five off, five plus off the dinosaur at the yeah. back. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, it's good for that, and and it's protecting a little bit against the croc splits in. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, it just helps shore that area up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. 
because th this five plus was like super on right five two two D. Yeah. And that does that does stop it a bit. I mean, not completely, obviously, but a bit. Strider was a one in nine away from like possibly winning this. <laughs> yeah. That 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 one in nine that that green skink failed. Seven hundred quid, Adam. I'm real. Have you you ever you know two thirds of the time won seven hundred quid? Have I ever won seven seven hundred quid? Just like I hey, rolled <clears> a <throat> dice and just just casually seven hundred quid. I t I told Jimmy that I went on a long time ago. I went on a uh, popular TV show called Are You Smarter Than Your Ten Year Olds. Remember that show? Oh, do you remember that show? I I know. But okay, it was, it, it, was, it was where it was like you're a contestant. You got to answer. You got like five kids, and they help you out like with like you know you get like questions on a board. And you choose like I don't know, spelling uh, or like I don't know English for a four year old or maths for a seven year old. And you've got like categories. And you choose them, and you got to try and answer the questions. And you've got three lifelines courtesy of the kids on the show. Okay. You must have heard of this show. No, you must have. Hang on, yeah, right. come massive. on, mate. Was, this is massive was, prime massive. time show. Yeah. Right, two questions. One, how old were you when you went on? Okay. Uh, 21. So they had a 21-year-old versus a 10-year-old at spelling. Interesting. Okay. And two, um, was this when I no, was... No, I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't against the child. Oh, right. So the children are my lifelines. So I've got a copy. I can copy their answer. Oh. I've got like a peek. I can peek at their answer or I can kind of... Oh, add steal. Like, oh like as a kid, you're like stealing their answer. Yeah, like, <laughs> Jimmy, what's the answer? And you're trying to look at the school teacher over there and actually like stealing. Yeah, but it, it's on a TV show, so no, I'm actually peeking at a child's homework. That'd be oh, okay. weird. But it, like, it was, it was, that, it was, it was, it was, it, mate, it was one of the most popular. It was like one of the big shows in our in, really in England. Was, yeah, yeah. Where the, where the hell were you? Yeah, you're the other We're all like pretty close, right? We're all pretty close age. We are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where were you? Where were you, Andy? <laughs> Blackout out drunk, apparently. Yeah. Right? I, <laughs> what? Um, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was good times. It was really fun. But yeah. So, so to answer your question. Uh, did you ask me if I if I won? Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I won a, I won a bit of money, oh, but, right, but, okay. but not. But you know, it was like it was the experience was pretty amazing. I mean, like a, because it was like a studio. I mean, there was obviously a, a live. We, that's what we need here. We need like a live audience. We need you guys at home <laughs> to be here in like tea adventures, and we have like a oh, that'd be amazing. We could have a warm up. Who would be the warm up act? We could have a whole thing. This could be our pitch for the next world championship that comes up. Just like, yeah, we just need tea adventures, hundreds of people. Um, Nikon are just over there. They can hear this. They're, They're on the phone, right. panic. They're just panicking, yeah, he's like panicking. Nodding. He's nodding. I can see him. Yeah. Like, yeah, we'll do it. We'll yeah. do it. Chat. I think he's going, this is a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, but not as much as I love Diomed's work right now, because it seems like he's really making a play here to try and uh, tie the series up. It looks like he's going to have to one dice and uphill dice the crocs. And this, this was this was what I didn't like this dodge for. It freed up the crocs hit, and now yeah. the crocs is on the ball, and there's no easy way out. Eight is classic there for you. No easy way out. No easy way out. <laughs> da, 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 da. What, a, what a song. <laughs> Complete banger. So yeah, this is this tackle bit is going to be thirty percent to fail, and he pretty much has to do it. I don't see any other any other route. Do you, do you go on the side here, like as a, a T-shape, just to push the skink away as well? Because you can push this, the, the crocs into the thing, and if you get lucky, then you can just run diagonally away. Or would you just go straight up, leaving both on the same player? No, because then, then you can free the crocs. I don't, I don't want to free the crocs. So yeah. I, would, I would just go straight forward so that they're both, you know, they're absolutely tagged Ugh. off. Oh, but then they're, a t then they're like yeah, a square yeah. shape, a square. so then they can... Then you can Let's so, chain him off. So I, 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 I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the diagonal. Yeah. Uh, make, make a side because we've got a t sideways T shape. Come in from the side, and then if we get a pow, double pow, we get paid big time. Then it gets pushed. Push is all right. Yeah. It's actually not easy to, to make any chain from him, actually. If you if you make this when you make this square shape, it's actually not easy to chain him out, is it? When you no. think about it. No, no. And you've got to go up. Oh, blimey. I quite like that. Yeah. Oh, because the dinosaurs on the uh, here five pluses. Someone's making a five plus. Yeah, gonna make my life very sad. Is so even you, here? Yeah, you've got to go there. Yeah, so maybe here. Wow, crazy stuff. If let's say he puts that ball there, would you be putting rerolls in as Strider, or are you just gonna say, um, Dio's got no rerolls? I'll keep my two for overtime. I mean, it's nil-nil. So oh, yeah. Yeah, no, in, time, in that case. In that case, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're nodding. You put the re-rolls in. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. We taught you well. Yeah. You have taught me very well. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't lose. Don't lose. That's yeah. the, that. That is a, a, a good mantra for life in general. Try not to lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We learn lots from losing. We do learn lots. We we grow from losing. Yeah. Yeah. But winning oh. is nice too. Double skulls. As so we just choose to lose. Yeah. Wow. It's a lose choose. Wow. Yeah. Oh, one turn. Yeah. Yeah. One turn. Okay. Didn't choose to lose. Choose to tie it. up the series. <laughs> Not quite. Well, no, there's, there's one turn. There's one turn. There's one there turn. There's a one turn attempt, and he's got two rerolls for it, and he's got a chameleon skink for the. Uh, oh my God! He oh, failed no. both KOs. So this is very difficult. North Eight four. players. But he does have the chameleon skink, but yeah, and only one skink to score, so he's got no like dodgy fills. Oh, okay, yeah, this is really, really, really hard. Really hard one turn. Ugh, look at that guard. Man, I think he should I think he should have uh, I think he should have re-rolled that. Oh man. Oh man. Has Strider won game one? Yes. So if this one turn doesn't one turn, then this is 1-1 one, one and we are going to be playing the final game. Final game. And we've got, we got a, sh a short... Final countdown. I believe we have a short break between games two and three, I believe. Yep, so we have a confirmation from production and uh, how long that... Oh, it looks like a 15-minute break, I think. 15-minute break and back into the action. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that's exactly That is enough time for chat to go and get... One cup of tea from wherever in your house you store tea, um, <laughs> ideally your kettle, yeah. and then, well, cupboard, and then uh, four biscuits. Kettle in the cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, I said oh. like, you don't store tea in the kettle, do you? That's bonkers, right? That's, you store hot that's, water that's, in the kettle. That's, that's a fire way to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely yeah, don't do yeah. that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then you make your tea, you get your couple of biscuits, um, you possibly nip to the shop. If you don't live too far away from like a yeah, corner shop, you can go and get extra biscuits yeah because the final is going to be immense it really is yeah it's all on the line yeah could you would you have you ever taken on in one sitting an entire pack of biscuits i don't think you can actually eat bis biscuits in in not one sitting yeah i, I have i have tried on multiple <laughs> occasions the, i tell you what one one biscuit i don't eat the entire packet is ginger biscuits that, that's i quite like ginger biscuits right because they're just ginger crunch they're not very nice so i can have <laughs> one and be like okay that's that's enough for now <laughs> Ah, but with tea, you can dunk them and then they become little, like, soft oh, and malleable. soggy, like, ginger and, yeah, yeah. treats. Of, oh, oh so God. And, and I'll tell you, this is going to weird you out slightly. You ready for this one? Yeah. Oh, God. This is going to weird me out. <laughs> of all the things, <laughs> horse legs included, this is going to weird me out. Okay, go for it. Right. So what you can do, what you can do, yeah. his face, oh, my it's word, just... is, is that you can put the ginger biscuits, like, you have your packet, you open them up, you unroll the whole thing, you dunk the biscuits in, in the tea, Instead of eating them one by one, which is boring, you can then get a plate and you can put them on the plate and then you get a spoon and you can eat them. Like, you've got ginger <laughs> me like oatmeal, effectively. And it's so good. It's so good. Like, you do that when you watch a film or I've something. I've never heard someone take a spoon to a ginger nut. <laughs> that is... It's possible. It's a very... Yeah, just unbelievable. <laughs> take a spoon to a ginger. I've never seen that before. Wow. Chat, have you, been, have you done that before? Oh, God. I don't think anybody has. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you one thing which is an absolute must do, and this is a very British thing. We've all heard <laughs> of the penguin chocolate bar, right? Mm. Have you ever bitten off two of the corners and sucked your tea through the biscuit? It doesn't work. It's a lie. I've done it. I think no. it worked. Yeah, well, see, it was good. Have you tried it? I, well, I, allegedly, but it just doesn't work. I just couldn't. Maybe I don't. Just don't, don't like suck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did, I didn't touch that. I was yeah. like, oh, I'm not going to go there. I'm like, oh, bear trap. But Andy dived in with two feet. He was like, I'm taking it on. <laughs> International broadcaster, otherwise, I'm going for it. <laughs> this probably like, there was flashing lights over there. The production were like, warning, <laughs> warning. Oh, he failed the pass. Throws it behind him because of, uh, what's it called, wildly inaccurate. It, it, it wasn't really on, honestly. I think he would have had to do a six plus dodge with a Saurus. Um, very, very unlikely to get the one turn. So, yeah. Wow. Pretty amazing stuff. Here we go, right? This is it. 1-1 one, one in the series. The best of three. We kind of hope this would happen in a way that we get the most action possible here on our, on our season finals. And then we've got exactly that now. I mean, Diamond, was it Diamond's strategic masterclass there? Or was it, I guess, Strider's downfall? Because it, you know, Lizards were kind of out of action, couldn't be utilized. 
What was the, what was the biggest factor in that to that, that game to turn things around? Individual standout moment. Dead Saurus turn one or turn two was it? It was something like that. Wasn't early, it? yeah, very yeah. early. Yeah. Dead, Dead Saurus, like no apothecary attempt on it either. That yeah. was for me like a singular standout moment early in the drive defines things. Do you think that's confidence? Thinking, oh, I, I'll think about that. I'll use the Apo later on. It's not a problem right now. Or do you think it's just uh, in that particular moment not the right decision? So they've changed the uh, apothecary rules between Blood Bowl 2, Blood Bowl 3. They're now less likely to recover dead players to turn them into badly hurt players so you can get them back. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's an element of being nervous about deploying your, your resources in a way that yeah. just isn't going to work. Makes sense, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it's a huge change instead of 50%. Instead of 50%, it's 37.5%. And that may not sound too much, but it's it's a pretty big deal. And I guess he was you know, thinking it's a long match. The other matches have gone to overtime. Save it for a badly hurt or a key a key KO and so, or something. But and it was just so early. It's a real hard, really hard choice. Uh, Artemis thought it was automatic to, to, to apothecary those ones. And I didn't think it was at all. I, you know, we were... We watched uh, one of Necronome's games, and I thought every decision was so hard whether to use the Apple or not. So I think it was real, real big skill test, and who knows what the answer is. <laughs> who knows? I mean, it sets things up for us there as, as well, because obviously after the next game, that is going to dictate exactly who the, 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 the champion is. One one match, that's all it takes here. Um, what, who's, I mean, is there is there a favorite right now? Do you think there's a particular player that you think will, you know, will that Diamond have a bit of wind in his sails to say, okay, I'm going to go forward now and make this happen? Or do you think uh, Strider's got enough to kind of... Use the. I mean, I guess the lizards are such a strong tour de force. Yeah. If they just if things work out in your favour, then you're you're kind of a bit ahead of the game in some respects. So if this was a standout game, just individual game now, and you're saying to me, who's going to win? I think I'd go Strider, right? But Strider has played three games back to back. This is now game four. We talked about it earlier in the commentary. It's hard to play yeah, three games at full speed, yeah. let alone now playing a fourth. So he's got an edge because they're both going to drop down in in, in efficiency. I think Diamond might just sneak this now, right? Oh, that would be. I'm yeah. changing my prediction, Diamond. <laughs> could the Orcs do it, Jimmy? I mean, they absolutely could, and you know, Diamond's made some amazing plays. But then that game where Strider had to step up and make the play, he did. He found yeah, an amazing play as well, so he yeah. didn't look like he's dropped off yet. So you know, and Strider's a tabletop veteran. He's gone to loads of events where they play, you know, six games over two days or, or four games in one day. So he, he is used to this kind of long drawn out format of playing a lot of Blood Bowl high concentration for long periods of time so he, i think he could i think he could still do it oh okay dear. oh dear oh dear <laughs> oh dear the jimmy fantastic prediction there um obviously we started last weekend with 16 players it all comes down to this there are two left there is one match to go here in our blood bowl three season finals uh who will be the victor chat keep the engagement and energy alive online we're going to take a short 15 minute break or so for our players have a quick refreshment for their back and battling out one more time to see exactly who is going to be your season finals champion. Do not go anywhere. Stay where you are. We're back in just a bit. <laughs>